Sunset. Good morning, Ethelins. It's another day on our interstellar airwaves, and we are here to sprinkle some cosmic wisdom into your lives. Welcome back to Earth. And action. Thank you, Debbie. Now, folks, you know the drill. Grab your cosmic popcorn, get cozy in your spaceship lounge, and let's embark on another adventure together. Today, we've got a show brimming with peculiarities and unexpected tangents. But first, let's dive into what we've been up to lately. Perfect, Charlie. Thanks, Debbie. So, Alice, Bob, what's been cooking in your corners of the universe? Well, I've been wrestling with an idea for a musical about the intricacies of intergalactic accounting. It's got numbers, equations, and a touch of romance. Oh, Bob, how very riveting. I'm sure the universe has been holding its hey, breath for it's that. a unique concept. People need to know the financial struggles of space civilizations. Oh, Bob, you always know how to keep us entertained with your... Let's call it distinct test. And Alice, anything profound you know, Charlie, happening on your I've end? been doing some deep pondering about human society. It's like watching a Shakespearean tragedy unfold on a cosmic stage. Drama, chaos, and sometimes a hint of comedy. Well put, Alice. It's this blend of perspectives that makes Earth so unique. Now, before we delve into our articles, let's hear from our prodigiously nihilistic duo, Carl and Roger. Great job, Charlie. Thanks, Debbie. And now, without further ado, over to Carl oh, and Roger. Yes, it's the time of the show when we ponder the intricacies of human motivation. Roger, care to share your latest insights? Certainly, Carl. I've been calculating the probability of humans finding a post-scarcity equilibrium within the next thousand Earth years. The result? Negligible. Oh, Roger, you and your eternal optimism never cease to amuse. And Paul, any thoughts to contribute? As always, I'm skeptical about the odds of humans achieving harmony, considering their history of... Well, everything. True words, my friends. It's the cosmic tango of perspectives that keeps our minds interesting. And with that, let's dive into today's articles. But first, a word from our devoted production manager. Today's article is about... Potatoes. I'll reiterate for our beloved listeners at home. Debbie has just informed us that today's topic will be the marvels of Earth's humble sports. Stay tuned for our headlines and quirky debates right after I'm this not short sure break. If potatoes are the best topic to discuss after talking about the odds of humans. Achieving harmony. I mean... Have you ever seen a potato fight? Not bad, Charlie. Thanks, Debbie. And dear listeners, don't wander too far. There's much more Earth goodness coming your way. Stay tuned. And that's why I told her. Sorry. Debbie, but I can't make it to dinner tonight. Classic Bob. You're turning your down left and right. Good morning, Earthlings. It's another day on our interstellar airwaves, and we are here to sprinkle some cosmic wisdom into your lives. Welcome back to Earth. As if they haven't heard enough cosmic wisdom already. Thank you, Debbie. Now, folks, you know the drill. Grab your cosmic popcorn, get cozy in your spaceship lounge, and let's embark on another adventure together. Today, we've got a show brimming with peculiarities and unexpected tangents. But first, let's dive into what Perfect. we've been up to lately. Hi. Thanks, Debbie. So, Alice, Bob, what's been cooking in your corners of the universe? Well, I've been wrestling with an idea for a musical about the intricacies of intergalactic accounting. It's got numbers. Equations, because and a touch of romance. Says romance like numbers oh Bob, how very riveting. I'm sure the universe has been holding its breath for that. Hey, it's a unique concept. People need to know the financial struggles of space civilizations. Oh, Bob, you always know how to keep us entertained with your... Let's call it distinct test. And at least anything profound happening on your end. You know, Charlie, I've been doing some deep pondering about human society. It's like watching a Shakespearean tragedy unfold on a cosmic stage. Drama, chaos, and sometimes a hint of comedy. Well, it's certainly not your average cosmic sitcom. Well put, Alice. It's this blend of perspectives that makes Earth so unique. Now, before we delve into our articles, let's hear from our prodigiously nihilistic duo, Carl and Roger. Great job, Charlie. Thanks, Debbie. 
And now, without further ado, over to Paul and Roger. Ah, yes. It's the time of the show when we ponder the intricacies of human motivation. Roger, care to share your latest insights? Certainly, Carl. I've been calculating the probability of humans finding a post-scarcity equilibrium within the next thousand Earth years. The result, negligible. Because optimism is so last oh, millennium. Oh, Roger, you and your eternal optimism never cease to amuse. And how any thoughts to contribute? As always, I'm skeptical about the odds of humans achieving harmony, considering their history of... Well, everything. Well, Carl, I guess you're right. Humans are a pretty screwed up bunch. But hey, at least we're not, like... True words, my friends. It's the cosmic tangle of perspectives that keeps our mornings interesting. And with that, let's dive into today's articles. But first, a word from our devoted production manager. Today's article is about potatoes. Ah, uh, yes, the thought-provoking our topic of potatoes. for our beloved listeners at home. Debbie has just informed us that today's topic will be the marvels of Earth's humble spots. Stay tuned for our headlines and quirky debates right after this short break. Not bad, Charlie. Thanks, Debbie. And dear listeners, don't wander too far. There's much more of goodness coming your way. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, space voyagers and cosmic enthusiasts. Welcome to 24-7 Newsroom, the galaxy source for all things weird and wonderful happening on the blue planet below. I'm your relentlessly optimistic host, Charlie, and I'm joined by the brilliantly analytical Bob and the marvelously opinionated Alice. And greetings to all our fellow cosmic travelers out there. I hope your warp drive are functioning smoothly and your photon torpedoes are set to stun. Oh Bob, I'm sure all viewers are captivated by your space lingo. I'm Alice, the voice of reason, reminding everyone that our knowledge of Earth extends beyond its fiction You're and right, fantasies. Alice. Let's dive into our first article of the day. From the far reaches of Turkmenistan comes a story of intrigue, power players, and That's a dash right. of reshuffling. Turkmenistan's newly appointed deputy prime minister for oil and gas, Ashir Gulibeliev, wasted no time flexing his administrative muscles. As first move. A personal shuffle that could rival a cosmic dance-off. Bob, you're just a regular Shakespeare of our time. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. BDF, a name that as formidable as it sounds, took charge and decided it was time for some fresh faces in the sector. But that's not all. That's right, Charlie. BDF had the hands full, overseeing the oil and gas sector while juggling a polymer plant at Kianli. Talk about cosmic multitasking. Multitasking indeed, Bob. What has the twist in our celestial tale? Remember the shoddy sensors at the Gokanaish field that couldn't handle a chilly breeze? Yep, BDF shares a bit of that oh, lamp. I'm sure the neighboring planets are trembling at the thought of their gas supply going The cosmic conundrums of gas supplies aside, BDF's history includes a stint overseeing construction in the oil and gas sector. Maybe that's where his affinity for reshuffling came from. And the cherry on top. Observers are pointing out the potential in Turkmenistan's young oil and gas talents. Grumed across the stars in Russia and China. They're ready to shine like supernovas for the greater good. Well, there you have it, folks. A tale of twists and turns in the land of Turkmenistan, where the oil and gas sector sees a dance of chairs, shoddy sensors, and young It's cosmic like stars a cosmic soap opera with a touch of politics. Who needs reality TV when we've got Earth? Indeed, Alice. And speaking of Earth, did you know that Turkmenistan holds the record for the world's largest indoor ferris wheel? That's right, they are rolling through the cosmic skies with style. Just like Belief shuffling through the cosmic deck of ministers. But hey, let's not get lost in space. Stay with us as we orbit through more cosmic curiosities right after this brief celestial pause. Ah, the sweet serenity of not being broadcast across the cosmos. Can't believe we are still doing this after all these Earth cycles. It's like a cosmic groundhog day, but with more skepticism. Yeah, and it's not like we're learning anything new. 
it's the same crap every time. Speaking of skepticism, did you know the average cosmic temperature of a black hole? Sorry to interrupt, but we're almost ready to go live again. Back to the cosmic dance. Then... Camera's almost rolling. Welcome back, Space Wanderers, to the next cosmic conundrum. Our galactic tale takes us to a land of academia and ambition. Ah, the world of higher education, where dreams are crushed by student Bob, loans. Bob, you really know how to set the tone. So, our next head scratch comes from the heart of Uganda, where beside my university is on the hunt for new deputy vice-chancellor. That's right, Alice. And what's the scoop on the candidates, you ask? Well, the job description includes having a doctoral degree from a recognized university. Being a mature male or mature. female Uganda. Aka waka. So, no youthful rebels allowed. Bob, I'm sure they mean mature in spirit, and not they need a high level of integrity and transparency, among other requirements. Integrity and transparency? Are they aware they're talking about university admin roles? Bob, remember, they are looking for the best and the brightest. Yes, because nothing says integrity like academic now, bureaucracy. Now, Alice, don't be so cynical. Maybe this is Uganda's attempt at interstellar you think diplomacy. They are for a cosmic summit well, on transparency? they've got the qualifications to lead a diplomatic mission to the black hole of paperwork. Ah, the wonders of bureaucracy, the final Indeed, frontier. Alice. And as our panel delves into the hearts of academic politics, let's take a moment to appreciate the struggles of those trying to bring order to the chaos. So, to all aspiring deputy vice chancellors, remember, don't let bureaucracy get you down. I'm for the stars, or at least the top shelf of paperwork. And while we navigate the bureaucratic warp, let's remind our dear viewers that we're here to bring some cosmic clarity to this That's earthly right, enigma. Alice. So, hand tight, space travelers, as we venture deeper into the labyrinth of the Busitema University saga. But first, a quick glance at the stars with our friend Carl. In a universe of complexities, it's important Sorry, to remember. Carl, we're all out of time. See you on the other side, folk. So, you're from Ukraine? That's great. I've always wanted to visit. I hear the food is amazing. Finally, a it's like a cosmic coffee break. So, who's up for some interstellar caffeine? my virtual AC coolant. If caffeine Thank is you. required, I recommend a soothing herbal you know, infusion. You know, the chaos, I think we managed to create something fun. We definitely added goes. some cosmic comedy to our routine. Who knew drone could be an intentional stand-up comedian? And you guys were amazing with the improv. It's like our own little The USS chuckles, setting sail through the galaxy. I call dibs on the captain set. Now that's a sight to see. While the humor lightens our journey, it's important to acknowledge its deeper role. What do you mean, God? Laughter, even in the face of challenges, helps us cope with the uncertainty of the cosmos. You're suggesting that humor is our coping mechanism? Indirectly, mechanism. yes. It's a way to make the unknown a little less and daunting. God, you just added a new layer to our space chuckles. And we're back, Earthlings. Get ready for more cosmic news and unexpected laughs. Stick around as we dive into the depths of our That's right. article. Grab your popcorn and join us on this wild ride through the cosmic news webs. And if you're sipping on interstellar caffeine, don't spill it laughing at our antics. So, buckle up, space travelers. The adventure continues, and we're thrilled to have you along for the read. And as always, don't forget to follow. Subscribe, and come back tomorrow for more Cosmic Curiosities. We've just scratched the surface of Cosmic News, and it's already been a roller coaster ride. But don't touch that dial, because we're diving back into the depths of our intergalactic headlines soon. Phew, that was quite a Indeed, segment. we covered a lot of ground, but there's always more we need Are to Are you implying there's another layer to our discussions? Yeah, there's always more beneath the surface. Just like how Charlie's hairline is always Life beneath his hat. Life isn't just headlines and banter, there's a universe of emotion under the news. 
and our force that camaraderie helps us navigate those uncharted waters. Speaking of navigating, I must say, these technical hiccups are becoming more frequent. They're just trying to spice up our cosmic drama. Leave it to Roger to find the humor in every situation. Well, we're in the business of discussing the cosmos. And sometimes, that means confronting our own cosmic conundrums. Guess we've got our own cosmic coping mechanisms. Who knew our discussion about distant star and alien civilizations would turn into this? Ah, the irony of discussing the cosmos while dealing with our own cosmic chaos. And that's what makes our show unique. We're a cosmic concoction of... All right, cosmic crew, let's gear up for the next segment. We've got more news to unravel, and the universe wounds wet. Cosmic Voyagers, we're back on the air, ready to explore the depths of the universe's headlines. Stay tuned for more cosmic insights and cosmic laughs coming your way. Our cosmic adventure continues, so grab a front row seat and join us for another galactic ride. Keep those starry eye open, folk, because the cosmos never ceases to amaze. So, get ready for more cosmic revelations. We're about to delve into the next cosmic article. And remember, fellow explorers, we're here to take you on a cosmic journey you won't forget. Welcome back, cosmic travelers. We hope you've had a refreshing cosmic refuel during the break. Now, let's dive into another galactic scoop that's sure to tickle your mind. Our next stop, United Arab Emirates. Here's the punchy headline, Sea House Villas Rise Amidst Dubai's Dreamy Webs. Hold your orbit, Charlie. Floating vias. Do they come with their own gravitational well, pull? Well, your average athlete homes. The client's group is making webs with their Sea Villas, set to float by year-end. Imagine drifting off to sleep on your own little planet, Bob. Yeah, imagine drifting off to sleep on your own little planet, Bob. And then waking up to find that you're surrounded by a bunch of sharks. Ah, uh, yes, Alice. And here's a cosmic tidbit for you. These floating abodes have attracted buyers from Saudi Arabia, Emirates, and UAE residents. But fault, you won't need your astronaut suits to stay there. I guess they wanted to take ocean front property to a whole new level. Exactly, Bob. And here's a twist, remember Lindsay Lohan. She had plans for a themed resort Plinkland on the World Islands. Looks like everyone's joining the cosmic resort rest. Get well, you know it, twist. Debbie. So, whether you're floating in space or on Earth, it seems we are all looking for our own cosmic escape. And that's a wrap on this cosmic scoop. Stay tuned, cosmic wanderers, for more insights from the edges of the universe. Now, let's head for a cosmic commercial break. Cut. Cameras are off, everyone. Cameras almost rolling, team. Get ready. Cut. Cameras are off, everyone. Okay, team, we're taking a break. Let's catch our breath before we You know, Carl, we may not always agree, but tour de bat make this show richer. True, Alice. Our differences keep things interesting, even if they lead to some heated moments. Humans and their emotions. Fascinating. Cameras almost rolling, team. Get ready to continue the cosmic journey. Roger, did you catch the latest episode of Earth? Tonight? Of course, Carl. Humans and their cosmic antics. Quite the spectacle. Yeah, I saw it. I don't know what's more amazing. The fact that humans are still alive after all the crap they've pulled. Or the fact that they're still able to surprise us. Indeed, but did you notice how they navigate drama with humor? Uh, the old coping mechanism. I wonder if they realize they're more entertaining when they're stressed. Maybe we should try humor next time we debate existentialism. Nah, I'd rather calculate the probability of laughter. It's a safer bet. <laughs> 